Nutella stuffed churro French toast. How about that? You're gonna need bread. Slice into one and a half inch thicky slices. Take a slice of bread. And in the bottom, insert your knife. Cut down, gently fiddle your knife around. It's gonna make me act up. And just fill with Nutella. Three full eggs. Two egg yolks. Half teaspoon of cinnamon. One and a half tablespoons of brown sugar. Half teaspoon of salt. Whiskey business. Mix in a half cup of cream and three quarters of a cup of milk. 12 inch pan. Eat medium. Little bit of fucking butter. Once it's hot and bubbling, dip into the custard. Both sides. Add to your pan, both of them, let those cook two to three minutes and flip. Once both sides are like that, three quarter cup of sugar, two teaspoons of cinnamon. Whiskey business. <coughs> Immediately toss in cinnamon and sugar, all sides. Look a little something like this. French toast, another one. A bit of whipped cream, a nice helping. Woo, sheesh. <laughs> this is guanciale, Italian cured pork face. Like. Face. And I'm gonna show you how to use it. Get a nice thick chunk, cut that into nice little cubes. Medium thick. One chili in. Deep medium. Cook that, stirring occasionally till lightly brown and beginning to crisp. Four. Three egg yolks. One cup of parmigiano. Stir together. Five. Boiling water. Salt. Apple the spaghetti. Once it's al dente. Transfer to your warm pan. Reserve a half cup of pasta water. Egg yolk mixture. Splash of pasta water. And stir vigorously. Like, really stir. Da! And that's how you get a beautifully creamy sauce. Oh, carving fork. Get a nice little ladle. Into your bowl. Remove the ladle. Very carefully. That was some parmigiano. Pepper. And that's how you use a guanciale. Um, mama? Uh, unfortunately, you've been lied to. This is actual wasabi. This is not. Hmm. Here's how to use it. Stem, cut. Now, what are we gonna use this whole thing? Are you fucking insane? Peel off what you need. <laughs> there she is. Pop a little on there. The fake shit doesn't compare. People have asked me to review cooking gadgets. Mmm, <sighs> this looks like a fleshlight. Says to clean it. Sp spray the inside. Okay, one, oh, and two. Oh. Um, what's going on here? No, no. Oh my God, it's leaking. Oh. This goes against everything that is holy. All right, it's fine. <laughs> this Halloween, you're gonna allow this. <laughs> we can do better. One cup of peanut butter in, in the oven. Low heat, five minutes, medium pop. One cup of sugar, quarter cup of water, half cup of corn syrup, and two tablespoons of maple syrup. Onto the stove, heat on. Bring to a simmer until it reaches 285. Off the stove. Oh, the little bowl. Shout out. Half teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Mix, stir it in. Once that's warm and loose, half teaspoon of fine sea salt. Mix, add your peanut butter, and just fold. Once it starts to stiffen, eight by eight baking pan. Spray oil. <laughs> Optional parchment, add to your 8x8, press it out. Nice and even. Look that cool for at least two hours or up to overnight. Remove, precisely, cut into bars. Half pound chocolate, finely chopped, melted, dip, pull out, drain slightly, place on a silk pad. And top with peanuts. Repeat with the rest. And let those harden. Peel them off, trim all edges. Good lord. Nice. There's no challenge. Keep it healthy. Sugar cookies with box mix? <laughs> no! Three cups of all-purpose flour. We have a helper today. Tell them what it is. Salt. One teaspoon of salt. One and a half teaspoons of baking powder. Wow, you're doing so good. One and a half cups of butter. Soften. Mix. One and a half cups of sugar. Beat together. Till light and fluffy. Two eggs. One tablespoon of vanilla extract. Add half your flour mix. Mix. Once it looks like that, add the rest of your flour. And incorporate. Once you've got your cookie dough. Scoop your dough and roll into one inch balls. <laughs> Granulated sugar. Ball. And toss. Onto a baking sheet. Repeat. Using the bottom of a cup. Press your cookies down. Once they're all pressed, into the oven, 375 Fahrenheit. 10 minutes. On a cooling rack. Let those cool, but also eat one if you want. Optionally, you can decorate. Does your rice make you do this? Oh, it's one secret, a good quality. Rice Open it up. Put the rice in here, right? Whoa. Put your rice in a strainer. Place it in a bowl. Fill the bowl with water. Once it's filled all the way up, agitate the rice. What's all that, buddy? Oh, uh, that's the starch. Once it looks like that, take it out, drain the water, fill it up again, agitate, and dump one more time. Do that until your water runs clear, which should be about two times. Now your rice can go in. Make sure it's level. Back of a spoon. Prickle over the spoon, okay? Finger test. The water should stop at your first knuckle. And for short green and medium rice, it's a one-to-one. -one. That's two cups of water, two cups of rice. I have no idea why they chose that as a song. 
Oh my lord! You can see each individual grain, it's chewy, it's not like pudding. Rice can be beautiful too. Give it the love it deserves. Wow, this looks like a kitchen BDSM thing. Well, it's not. We're putting my taste buds to the test. There's nothing in here. Oh, it's for a cocktail. You like that one, kids? Number two! It's Togarashi. I don't even need to taste it. Uh, what number are we on? Ooh! Some sort of vinegar, but I don't know what it is though. Like a sherry vinegar? Hey, let's go! Papa <laughs> What the hell is this? Flour. What kind? What kind? What are you, what am I, a dog? Very absorbent. Also very soft though. Double O Tipo. Bread flour. Yeah, we got it. Yeah! 